Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'll show you how to put your Android phone in the safe mode. And you might be wondering why should you put your Android phone in the safe mode? Let's say if your Android phone is having some issues, for example, just say recently you installed some apps and now your phone is actually behaving very sluggishly or for that matter, your phone is acting erratically. You can actually boot it in the safe mode and thereby diagnose it. And let's say if some specific app was giving some problems, you can uninstall that think of the safe mode as a mode where um, the phone will actually not load third-party software it'll be like something uh, what uh, you get after a fresh install but don't worry when you get out of the safe mode all your apps and data is still intact so it's a good way to actually diagnose if you're having some issues on your Android phone and think of the safe mode as what we generally find on Windows computers they're also actually with Windows XP and stuff we had the safe mode where let's say if you're having some problems on your computer you could go into the safe mode and diagnose stuff so that is very similar and i'll show you that how to do that on an android phone now so here i have three different phones and i just wanted to show you with multiple phones uh, and this is the nexus 5x uh, this is the uh, oneplus x and this is the vibe uh, what do you say uh, s1 so to get to the safe mode uh, uh, this is uh, booted normally as you can see this is normal uh, what you have to actually do is hold on the power button and when you get to this menu hold on this uh, power uh, on or off for about a couple of seconds and now as you can see it says reboot to the safe mode I'll just press ok it's a little bit different on some other devices for example this is the one plus let me actually show you again hold on the power button and when you get to this hold uh, this uh, power off button for about two seconds and it says that we can boot to the safe mode and just press ok and it will reboot to the safe mode and let me actually show you on this Lenovo Vibe S1 and this is using a custom skin and let's again hold on the power button for a couple of seconds and it says boot to the safe mode so they are booting and let them boot then I'll show you how the safe mode works so this uh, Nexus 5X has booted and as you can see it clearly says that it is in the safe mode and uh, this one also has booted and it says that it's in the safe mode for example here as you can see on the oneplus x uh, the apps that i have downloaded are grayed out so you just cannot invoke uh, them and use them in the safe mode so this way uh, you can actually diagnose and see if your phone is now running normally with the default apps similar case for this nexus 5x let me just unlock it and again, as you can see, uh, the Twitter, the third party app that I have and some of the third party apps are disabled. And now it's in the safe mode. And this way you can actually diagnose if the phone is working now fine. Let's say it was running very sluggishly earlier, but now in the safe mode, it is running fine. That means some of the apps were creating the issue. So you can easily diagnose stuff using uh, the safe mode. And now to get out of the safe mode, that is also very easy. Uh, let me actually show you with this uh, OnePlus X. Again, hold on the power button. And again, it's the same procedure. Hold on the, this power off button for about uh, two seconds. And when you get to this reboot to safe mode, hit cancel and now just hit reboot. And it will reboot normally. Same thing on this one also. Just hold the power on off, hit cancel. And now just I power it off normally. Mm -hmm. So same thing with this one also. Just hold on the power off button, hit cancel and now I can just hit the restart and it should boot in the normal mode. So I feel this is a great way to actually diagnose your Android phone. Uh, let's say your phone was running really sluggishly. Uh, you can diagnose and it's a good way to get an idea if you do a factory reset, how will be the performance of your phone because uh, it will be like a factory resetted phone. So it's a very, now as you can see, this phone has already booted. And again, um, the apps that I've downloaded and stuff are working normally. So this was a good way to actually diagnose stuff uh, by putting your phone in the safe mode. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.